Nick Clegg has suggested for the first time that concerns about Lord Renard's behaviour may have contributed to his resignation as the Liberal Democrat chief executive. The Deputy Prime Minister has previously insisted that the peer quit four years ago on health grounds. But today's admission has fuelled claims, first broadcast on this programme, that ill health was not the only reason for the departure. Lord Renard continues to deny allegations of sexual impropriety. Here's Cathy Newman. We had no shortage of questions for Nick Clegg this morning about what he knew and what he did about allegations of sexual impropriety. Nick Clegg, Sandra Goodley says she told you about Lord Renard. Do you remember that? We didn't get any answers, but callers to LBC Radio's Nick Ferrari show did hear a frank admission that the party had seriously mishandled complaints against its former chief executive, Lord Renard. I did not know about those um, allegations, absolutely not. And, and can I just stress yeah. something? You know, I hope anyone who knows me, and you know, I, I so much believe that it is, is crucial that you treat people with, with respect and dignity in everything you do, and that's what I expect of people in the organisation that I lead. That clearly did not happen here, to put it mildly. There were some very serious mistakes, and the women were not listened to, and they were let down. We've asked for an interview with Mr Clegg, but he's repeatedly declined. So I decided to surprise the Deputy arrived. Prime Minister so with my own call. Yep. Uh, Cathy in Dulwich. Cathy, go ahead. Yes, it's... Hi there, it's Cathy Newman here from Channel 4 News, or what you might call a, a self-appointed detective. I just wanted to clear up, really, at the weekend you said that Lord Renard quit on health grounds. Now, in what you've just been saying to, to Nick earlier on in the programme, uh, you appear to be accepting that his behaviour was part of the reason he went. Is that right? Uh, what I said, Cathy, was... And by the way, can are, are I... You the, you're, you're Cathy from Newman Channel from 4, Channel yeah. 4. Right, yeah. OK, OK, Cathy, go uh, ahead. LBC, Channel 4. Gosh, my head is spinning with uh, well, uh, the number of media outlets involved now. Um, anybody can ring in, of course. Uh, anyway, go on. Well, we'd love to do an interview with you separately, but, but if you wouldn't mind just ask, answering that question, that'd be great. Which I have answered, Cathy, which, as I said, he left on, on health grounds, but, of course, the uh, issues that, um, that we... You know, the issues of his inappropriate behaviour were, in were in the background. Of course they were. But right, Cathy, in the thank background, you for that. You knew um, about these let's concerns. do some other questions. Now, that might sound like a subtle semantic shift, but here's why it matters. The implication of what Nick Clegg said today is that the party covered up the fact that concern about Lord Renard's behaviour was one of the reasons he went. And that starts to look as if the Lib Dems spared themselves and their peer embarrassment, but at the expense of properly resolving complaints from a number of women. In the investigation we broadcast last week, Oxford academic Alison Smith told us the party had been cowardly to conceal the full story behind Lord Renard's resignation. Mr Clegg still denies a cover-up. So had he forgotten what he now admits he knew of concerns about Lord Renard's behaviour when he told party conference of his immense gratitude for what the peer had done? And if it wasn't for the Renard School of Campaigning, this would not be a party ready to transform British politics. Ready to win, winning already. Since we broadcast the allegations, the Deputy Prime Minister's version of events has changed almost by the day. At the weekend, his spokesman insisted, it is categorically untrue that Nick Clegg knew of the allegations raised by Channel 4 before this week. A day later, the Deputy Prime Minister admitted he was aware of concerns five years ago. Indeed, when indirect and non-specific concerns about Chris Renard's conduct reached my office in 2008, we acted to deal with them. But he continued to insist that Lord Renard had quit because of his health. Chris Renard categorically denied that he'd behaved inappropriately and he continues to do so. He subsequently resigned as chief executive on health grounds. After altering his account of that resignation today, Mr Clegg explained that he could only tell us the truth as he recollects it now. Just what exactly that truth is, the police are now probing. It was announced yesterday that we had talked to some Lib Dem party officials, but our main task is not to talk to people who don't know what happened, our task is to talk to the complainants, the witnesses who say, obviously, have got something to tell us. So we started that process and then we'll make an assessment about, first of all, is there a crime and then what, if any, action we'll take. Lord Renard continues to deny the original allegations and suggestions that he resigned for any other reason than ill health. Cathy from Dulwich reporting.